everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is Angel of Bliss with Angie's Art Asylum. I'm kind of a mess today. I've been experimenting and doing new things. I'm going to use a three chamber cup, split cup, and uh, we're going to use a mix of white paints and two other blues. And we're going to do a, take a spin on the spinner, um, pour it out of the cup, spin it while I'm pouring, see what we get. Kind of like a feather effect almost. Uh, I'm uh, using some different colors today. I'm in the mood for blues. Um, so that should be a hint that that's the colors we're going to be using. But anyway, I'm glad you're with me. Thanks for being here. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I have uh, lots of things to share and lots of things to do and lots of things to upload. I have about 15 videos that need to be edited and uploaded. So I'm busy, busy, busy trying to get all that done for you and uh, so that I can make more space to do more things. So uh, without further ado, let me get you down to the canvas and let's spin this thing out. See how it works out. I will see you guys at the end. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Angela with Angie's Art Asylum. I am going to take a break from Bleems for a little bit and I'm, I like doing all techniques, so I'm gonna kind of try to revisit a split cup and just looking through my colors and trying to decide what I was gonna do. And I put some whites together. I got my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I mixed that with some pearl white from Amsterdam and some deco art satin enamel white with some flow troll and some liquid text gloss medium uh a little bit of water and we're just going to test this out and see how it works this is a 10 by 10 canvas and i mix the paint it's uh it's not runny but it's not thick either I think the ratio is like three to one with a little bit of water added uh, and then like a half part of the medium mixed in. So I'm just going to make a puddle here. That's not too thick. Torch. And then I also have that in this little cup. I'm going to three splits, three split chamber, three chamber split cup. I'm going to put this. Um, I used Liquitex. Prussian blue hue in the soft body acrylic. I use that for my dark blue. I'm going to pour it on the side. Such a pretty blue. I haven't used this blue in a very long time. And I'm just going to pour this white mixture right in the middle. Hopefully it's not too thick. I might have got a chunk of something in there. I don't know. And I'm just going to spin this uh, turntable. Turntable. My spinner. Around. While I pour it out the cup. We'll see what we get. And this is experimentation, so we will see. And then I'm gonna put this um, treasure gold aquamarine. That's what I put down. I don't know why I said blue quartz. It's aquamarine. I'm gonna put this in the other side. Should have made a little more white, or maybe thinned it out a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe it'll be all right. Oh, 
bubbles. We're just going to pour this down the center and I'm going to turn it as I pour it. So I'm going to try to stay right in the center while I'm pouring. I'm going to lock my arm in place close to my body, my, sh my uh, elbow to my body, and I'm going to try not to move it. So here we go. Loopy right there. Like I said, I think my white is a little thicker than my other paints. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Maybe I can fix that? Let's see. Maybe this will get spun off the edge, so we'll see. Take this around here. Pretty colors. I don't think I ruined it too bad. We'll see. Now, 
I'm gonna torch this. I have bubbles in it, so let's see how many white spots come up. Now we're just going to spin it out and see what happens. And we're just going to go slow, kind of let it open up on its own. Love the center. I'm glad I kept going and didn't stop. Thing is with these, you just don't want to fling the paint off really fast. You want to take your time. I haven't done one of these since last March. This has been, it's been a while. Oh, it's pretty. Really love that blue. I think I'm almost out of it too. I'll have to get some more. So I didn't get really puffy white clouds, but my white is pretty cool. I don't think it was because it was too thick, but that's okay. I still like it. The trick is to get as much of the paint off without leaving too much on there for it to dry properly. There's a piece of something in there, it looks like. It's not moving. It's caught my ring. like a big splash or a wave actually in the ocean it's pretty cool Spin this a couple more times. Oh, it's got paint everywhere. Now it's opening up. That's pretty. Um, a little bit more. I like that. That way, too. 
too. I think I'm going to leave it. <clears throat> Pretty sure we have enough paint off. I got paint all over me. <laughs> and I will uh, be back soon to show you guys the dried result. Talk to you then. Hi guys. Dried result time. We ended up with this. Which is very, very pretty. The aquamarine is very shiny. And I like it always. This way, this way, this way. This way. It's really cool. Look at that way. Which way do I like it the best? Can't remember. Can't decide. This way. This is the way I like it the best. So yeah, you see the little shimmer in there? It's really pretty. And the mixture of the whites caused the uh, aquamarine to kind of fluff up a little bit, which made it really cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, hopefully we can do some more blues because I'm enamored with this, uh, this blue here. It's pretty. Anyway, I will have a still shot at the end. And as always, thank you guys for being here with me. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching my channel. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your comments. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you to whatever you're doing today and uh, let you get on with your day. And again, just thank you for being here. So in the meantime, um, get some rest. Take care of yourself. And I will see you next time.